Do you know it's just as easy to date a rich guy as it is to date a poor guy? No one is saying you have to be a gold digger. However, it is important when you're dating a man, you look at his potential. Is he motivated? Is he inspired to work hard for his woman and his future family? If you end up marrying a rich and ambitious man, you will be able to enjoy all the finer things in life. Vacations, spa treatments, hair extensions. You won't have somebody looking over your shoulder every second, questioning why you went to the mall, questioning why you eat organic foods at the grocery store, questioning this or questioning that. Believe me when I tell you, I am not saying a rich guy is the only thing you're looking for. You are looking for a great man, one who's kind, one who has great values, one who's gonna treat you like a princess, not only financially, but with love, support, and through his actions. Just looking around this resort today, it made me inspired to share with my ladies. I want you to be able to go to these places, these wonderful places that my husband takes me to. This is well within your reach. There are plenty of men out there that are looking for a great woman to be by their side. Of course, when you're a great woman, you're gonna love and respect your man. You're gonna be there to build him up when he needs to, to help him in his business, to not nag him, to support him. And when you are there to love and support your man, the way that I did with my husband, his business will explode. And at the end of the day, ladies, the dirty underwear on the floor doesn't matter if it's coming from a rich guy or a poor guy. Either way, you're most likely picking it up, washing it, and putting it back in his drawer. So don't you want a man at the end of the day that's going to spoil you rotten? This is just so perplexing to me. I just can't understand why anyone would choose to be with a man who isn't driven to do well in this world. This world is difficult enough as it is. The last thing you need as a couple is to have financial stress on your relationship. And ladies, this is so much deeper than vacations or jewelry or really hot cars. What I'm talking about also is to be able to have enough money to go to any grocery store and to fill your body with good organic foods, to be able to afford vitamins and supplements, to later when you have children, be able to send them to the right schools and give your kids what you want to give them. Do you get what I'm trying to tell you? If so, you can start to be on your path to date a great man who is a financial success. Comment down below and please enlighten me if you think there's any reason that you should begin to date a man that has no inspiration, that has no drive, that has no desire to treat you like a princess. I appreciate all the love when you hit the heart button for me.